Okay, welcome back to the SU Leadership Race Debates 2018. We've just had services and comms and now we're moving on to VP International. We've got five candidates and the system will work pretty similar to the last one. So we'll have two questions in which each candidate will have a minute to ask, answer. We will then open the floor so candidates can ask each other <coughs> a question. And then finally, we will take questions from the internet if there are any. Please do comment any questions you have for our VP International candidates. And then we'll have minutes for final thoughts. So we're going to introduce the candidates now. Candidate number one, who are you and why should yeah. people vote for you? Um, hi, my name is Garma Sood and I am standing for the position of VP International. I'm currently in my final year of undergraduate studies pursuing Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. The reason why I feel um, students should support me and vote for me is I'm a loyalist and I truly believe in the power of giving back. Um, all the time I have been... Um, uh, you know, I, I live in university keys and the, the, with the journey is that, that I cover from my home to campus has always been, I see that University of Essex logo and I've always wanted to do something big for the student community. It's hard to be an international student, it's not easy, but the fantabulous journey that I've had in these three years in my Essex, I wish to replicate the same for other international students. Brilliant, thank you very much. Candidate number two, who are you? Hello everybody, I'm Georgie and there are so many reasons why I would love to be your next VIP International. For me, being part of this global village called Essex has been the greatest experience in my life so far. I'm originally from Bulgaria and I'm studying economics and Spanish. Why I'm running for that position? Simply because as a European student, for me, it's really important to help the others improve, develop, flourish as individuals. I know that being an international student is such a big challenge and our, our students here can experience really difficult time if we're not supporting them. Fantastic, thank you very much. Candidate number three, who are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello guys, so before I introduce myself, I would like to wish you a happy Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, this week comes the Chinese New Year. Uh, it's on 16th Friday. And I believe the university and the Chinese Union has celebrated it two days ago. And this year is going to be the year of dog. I hope you all good luck. My name is Jia Guen Luo and I'm running for VP International. Uh, I'm running for this position because I'm basically I'm from China and I'm an international student. I like being, uh, I like making friends with all kinds of people. And I like engaging uh, international events on campus. Brilliant, thank you very much. Candidate number four, who are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Asha and I'm running for Vice President of International. I am a final year linguistics and sociology student and I'm from Norway. Um, I'm running for this position as I have been interested in student politics <laughs> from day one at university, um, finding out how much the student union does for us was incredible, but then finding out all the things that, um, that the students union and everyone in the exec team does behind the scenes, um, not just for your life at university, but after university. And I definitely knew that that was something that I would want to get behind uh, and make sure that the students at Essex, especially international students, know how valued we are um, at this university. Brilliant, thank you very much. And finally, candidate number five, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um, hello, my name is Victor, and I'm final year law student. Um, I'm I'm running for VP International. This is the job I actually wanted to run for since uh, my first year. Um, this is a very very important role because you are representing five thousand international students, and also you are going to um, make them aware about the cultural uh, stuff. Um, for my experience, I worked for um, um, Society Guild for two years and I, I'm the cultural convener for um, this year and I was the activity convener for last year. Basically, um, I know the basic framework of how the SU work and how to um, help the society and the international student. And I'm now also the project uh, and event officer for ISA, which is a, um, we stand for International Student Association. Um, this is an association to to um, help the international student not only um, organizing the event for them, but helping them get involved into the uni life. Um, um, for the role of the VP International, I 
I know this is a this is not going to just organizing the event for the international student, but also in three main area. First, which is uh, inter uh, first is uh, accommodation. Second is mental health, and third is uni university. Okay, I will talk about more later. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So the first question that we're going to start off with is what areas of the students' union could be improved to get international students to interact with the SU more? Garima, do you want to take that first? Yep, so uh, first of all, I believe that, um, so, um, as it was earlier pointed out, that 75% um, of the students are not really engaged with the students' union, so it's, that's a major issue. And I think um, also the involvement and the activities, which um, is good that they're happening inside and, you know, around the campus, but I want to bring the culture of, you know, cultural fests um, and the fact that a lot, activity should be, a lot of activities should be happening on the squares to sort of encourage uh, students to, you know, be involved in maybe you know collaborate with cultural societies the isa to not just at a superficial level but to make sure that the all the communities are being represented or most of them are being represented and um, and um, i also believe that you know s some students also um, suffer from problems such as you know loneliness and homesickness so i think cultural activities and catering and tapping to different interests uh, maybe in art and culture of you know different uh, of different countries across the world should be tapped in um, in order to ensure that um, you know coming away from home is not that tough. Cool. Thank you very much. Right, Georgie, how do you think uh, the Students' Union can be improved to help international students interact more? I believe that Students' Union needs to work a little bit closer with the International Student Association. Uh, I think that they need to organize a variety of different events such as cultural parties where uh, different uh, students from different cultures can actually interact with themselves, can actually uh, enjoy being together, listening to their national music. Also, I think that Students' Union need, needs to organize um, to provide more, um, in more international, uh, international food for all, for all our students from abroad. Uh, and that's it, I think. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. So next, moving on, Jaikun, what do you think about the Students' Union helping uh, engage with international students? All right, so I found that some students feel not interested or have little awareness of what's going on in the university, or they, they are likely to be in their rooms rather than attending events. Uh, and even some students, they would like to get, get in group with the people from the same cultures. So uh, I think the Student Union especially for the VP International, should uh, bring people from different cultures together and uh, hold events for, um, and hold e these events in the campus. And also for those students, they might uh, feel not easy to get help from the schools. Uh, they would not like to speak out for, for example, their uh, homesick or their um, financial pressure. So I think the student union has to pay concern to these people and um, make the essays more international. Thank you. Fantastic. Bang on time as well. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. I like that. OK, <laughs> Asha, what do you think? Um, as someone who has been a, uh, an office and SU exec before, as a part-time officer, it was, it was one of the hardest things to get students engaged and find out why some students weren't interested. And I think the biggest issue is that we do we do have all these cultural events and that is absolutely incredible but we need to focus on international students in all bases um not just in um have it having parties and stuff that's absolutely incredible but we need to represent our students politically especially international students as brexit is looming to make sure that we know how to cater for all students uh focus on it why students um international students do drop out um, making sure that we, as, as everyone has mentioned before, um, keeping on track of mental health, um, making uh, our education more catered toward, uh, towards international students and not just keeping it uh, European-centric. Brilliant. So, Victor, we're going to move to you now. And the question again was, which areas of the SU can be improved so that the international students can interact with the SU more? 
um, I think nowadays lots of international students they actually don't know about a lot of cultural event because um, maybe the promotion is not very effective. But um, so for me, when I was holding the event, I actually promote the event um, one month before the event happened. So um, at the end of the day, the event um, was actually got like three hundred people attended. Um, I think another thing is uh, about you need to let the student know what they are going to earn from the event. Um, for the culture event, there is not only uh, the international student uh, as international student earning earning from the uh, event, but on, but also the uh, local student as well because they actually um, uh, aware about more the cultural stuff, and so that um, they will have. Like when they're going to the future job, they actually have more topic to talk about. So you need to let them know about um, they can learn from this event. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Victor. Uh, before we move on to the next question, I'd like to remind everybody that's watching along online to comment on your questions. Anything that you guys want to talk about, we can pass on to the candidates. So let us know what you want to hear. So the second question is, what are the current most important issues that are facing international students? Garima, what do you think? Uh, I think <clears throat> this also comes from personal experience and my interaction with a lot of international students as well from my country, which is India, or from other places, that uh, tuition fees is a huge concern, and I would want to ensure that uh, I remember by the time I was applying, there was a scheme, a vice chancellor scholarship for about £5,000, but it was just for a year, and it doesn't obviously cover the full amount. So I would want to probably, it's a very ambitious goal, but I would probably want to at least make this change, that uh, work with the students' union and the university to lower the tuition fees and also ensure more merit-based scholarships based on not just academics but even extracurricular and also um, maybe work in the area of employability and ensure that more graduate jobs with tier two um, uh, sponsorships can be provided and encouraging a lot of um, um, faculties that do provide such services to uh, come to university and promote uh, their organizations. Brilliant, thank you. Georgie, what do you think? I think that uh I absolutely agree with Garima that the financial difficulty is something that needs addressing because our international students come, come to our university mostly because of their degrees, because they would like to study and to, impro to improve themselves. <coughs> but of course, working part-time is something amazing that everybody should do, but that shouldn't be happening at the expense of the individual's degree. Personally, at the moment, I need to work full time in order to be able to be here because uh, I don't have any other source of finances apart from my own jobs and I believe that uh, together with Students Union y we need to provide more um, bursaries for our European and international students. Also I think uh, accommodation office, uh, their, uh, their fees needs to be uh, reduced in terms of uh, in terms of our students' financial status. Brilliant. Thank you, Georgie. Jaikun, what do you think about the current issues that are facing international students? Well, I believe uh, in uh, it's doing well, very well in Colchester. Basically, I'm from Southern Campus, and I'm doing business administration on Southern Campus. So I feel that uh, we have to focus on the Southern Campus because the Southern Campus is, more s is smaller than Colchester, and there's only about 2,000 students. But the biggest problem is that we don't have uh, like a square or, or bar in the campus like, in Col like, like that in Colchester. So uh, I think the biggest problem is that people are likely not to get together. They, as I said before, they, they prefer to stay at, at their rooms and uh, they don't know each other very much. So I believe the VP International should um, focus on how to hold an event in South End and how to get people together and how to help them out if they need, uh, need any help. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Asha, over to you. Um, uh, I think that one of the most important things I think for the next upcoming years for international students is um, Brexit and what does that actually mean for students. Um, in my opinion, unfortunately, we're not represented by the National Union of Students anymore. 
which means that we don't have the same political representation as a lot of different universities around the country. And s from the day that I started at this university, I knew how important politics and political movement and mobilization of students is so important. And I would love to be able to bring that back to international students to make sure that we have all the answers of um, what will happen with Brexit. Will the fees go up? Will we need visas to live here? Um, and I think that is one thing that international students are worrying about, especially those from uh, countries within the European Union. Fantastic, thank you very much. Victor, finally, just with you, what do you think are the main issues facing international students? Yeah, um, all of the candidates, they actually mentioned a lot of stuff like financial problem or the mental health problem or, uh, or the Brexit, but all of this <coughs> actually related to mental health um, uh, because a lot of uh, international students, they actually, maybe they are very stref stressful and then because they are, uh, it's their first time to come to uh, um, a international, like a, the foreign country, so they are, they will be very stressful, and maybe their mental health problem, like they will have mental health problem. And another thing I want to mention is a uh, bystander issue, um, not like because not all of you mentioned about it. Um, so, if you are a student and then you're looking at them like arguing, and you are not going to help them, this is the bystander. And then so. For me, I, uh, I'm the uh, community assistant, so I have the certificate for mental health problems, so I will actually go and help to talk to them and to do that. Imagine if you are the one who suffer and there is no one help you. So I, if uh, next year, I hope there will be more training for the bystander issue for all of the um, university students. Fantastic, thank you very much, Victor. So now we're gonna open to the portion of the debate where you guys can ask each other questions. So has anybody got a question they would specifically like to ask somebody else, another candidate? Yeah, Asha, go ahead. Um, Sp so specifically to someone, sorry. Uh, specifically specifically to someone. To someone. Um, Karima, you mentioned about the uh, employability for international students and the need for sponsorships of visas. Um, how would you go about working with the university and employability and careers to um, make these opportunities um, Access accessible for international students? Uh, thank you for your question, and it's quite valid. Um, so basically, I think um, it, it employability is a very important issue, and I've seen my international friends um, sort of having this stuff between, you know, part-time paid work and just the BRP limit of 20 work hours. It's, it's insane, so you don't get a lot of time during the term time, and the only time you have is vacation period, and many people have financial issues. I think the way to tackle this is probably I've um, come across in my search of employability opportunities graduate opportunities there are a lot of um, institutions um, which actually specifically focus on international student jobs and uh, sponsoring tied to work visas because the problem I've had on career hub is looking uh, for really good jobs and then they're like you should have the right to work in UK so that's a problem and I want to you know I've come across certain organizations which I would want to you know probably work with the student union and the university to bring them for the employability careers workshops that we have around you know autumn term and spring term for them to come something like you know something like civil service fast stream that or usually comes or like um, another website like student circus and things like that so that they can you know be um, informing about such opportunities fantastic thank you very much for that guys so has anybody else got another question they would like to direct to somebody else another candidate yeah Georgie go ahead uh, I would like to ask Victor about um, what does he think about the fact that uh, the accommodation office allows only to the international students to stay and live on campus uh, after their first year, but not, uh, but it doesn't allow for the European students from uh, poor countries such as Romania, Cyprus, Bulgaria to live on campus. What do you think about that? Do you think that the, this is an issue that needs to be addressing? Um, I think this is a issue that need to be like um, take up to the matter because uh, for the international student like uh, for me like I'm from Hong Kong and if I come here there is no guaranteed accommodation I don't know where should I live but for like for the uh, European like um, student they actually all they are also from different countries so maybe they don't have uh, the experience like how to um, how to get the accommodation if 
uh, they are not um, living on campus. Um, but I think university they are building like a lot of new accommodation, so they will have more accommodation for the student for next year. And that is also another way for the um, European student or, uh, or even the local student to stay on campus uh, when they are like um, in second year or third year. If they are going to apply for the resident assistant or community assistant, they also have a chance to live on campus. So that is also a chance for them, but not like uh, no any chance for them to live on campus when they are in like second year or third year. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Victor. So now we've got a question from Facebook, which comes from the current VP International, Yasmin, who has asked, our main role is not to organise cultural events, but it's to provide solutions to international students' issues. How will you listen to the students' voice? Garima? Um, Thank you for the question. <laughs> and I think um, it is obviously relevant uh, as VP International, it is important to focus on cultural events, but obviously solving the issues on ground and representing international students what they actually need. And I personally feel that um, Luckily, a lot of it has been done for uh, through the Students' Union, and I'm quite impressed with the U Guarantee service that has been started, and it has been quite impressive, especially in terms of accommodation and paying those extra finances. I think maybe obviously focusing on more mental health and well-being services, and I obviously feel that the cultural part and the mental health is sort of interrelated because if you if you tend to not interact with a lot of people and you you're really lonely and you don't have those go-to friends, so you need those cultural events to bind people together to mix together not just be refrained to their own community so I think cultural events is a way to even solve some of the prominent issues and tap into people's interests and make sure that we're listening to them uh, have um, be really approachable um, and you know um, not somebody to be intimidated by and I feel that could be done yep brilliant Georgie what are your thoughts I would like to make sure that all international students knows that I am I'm their trustee so for that reason, I would like to organize one-to-one -one session each week to meet all of them, to listen to their problem, problems, to address them to Students Union, and of course to try and find a solution. I also think that the mental health is something that needs a special and personal attention to every single student because our international students can feel really isolated uh, which shouldn't be happening. We need to make sure that they know how to take care of their mental health. Uh, we need to make them aware how to, who can help them in every situation. And I think that as their trustee, I can be that person to address their problems and to make sure that they grow as individuals. Fantastic, thank you, thank you, Georgie. So Jakun, what again, uh, the question was, sorry, just in case we've forgotten. Our main role as VP International is to organise cultural is not to organise cultural events, but is to provide solutions to international students' issues. How will you listen to the student voice? Well, so currently I'm the student ambassador in Student Union South End, and I'm working with the VP South End and other student ambassador. So I got to know how events are planned, organised, and finally carried out. And we got students together. We had very successful event. And I think the most important things to hear from people is that you make friends with them. And uh, as people be sincerely to you and th they can talk more and you know each other. And that's, that's the one main uh, way you get to know people and hear from them. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Fantastic, thank you very much. Asha? Um, I think the beauty with having a vice president for edu uh, for international rather is that um, you get to work with all the other sa uh, sabbatical officers such as VP education and welfare and activities to to not just find out what everyone else would like to discuss and um, what issues to solve but then you can sp specify those to international students. Um, their cultural events are great in terms of getting everyone together when you first arrive but um, having, di uh, having different areas available to talk about mental health, as a lot of people have mentioned tonight, which is absolutely incredible because that is something we need to talk about a lot more here at university. Um, I think we just need to focus on avenues rather than just um, the, the events that we do, um, but t uh, thinking more about how things affect students politically. I've, I know I've mentioned politics a lot tonight, but it is definitely very important for all of us. Fantastic, thank you very much. Finally, Victor, what are your thoughts? 
Um, so this is the question that basically I, I have mentioned that when I'm introducing myself. So the VPN International is not only organizing the cultural event for international students, but uh, uh, it is a role to deal with the problem about accommodation and mental health problem and also the university uh, problem as well. Um, so for the accommodation, um, a lot of uh, first year students, like for the international student, if they apply uh, late for the university, they may not get the accommodation. So they need to leave off campus. So this is a very panicking uh, stuff and very uh, stressful for them as well. So this is the point that for the VP International uh, who need to help them out. And also mental health problem. Um, um, this is also the uh, area that uh, for the VP International to consider because a lot of um, international students, they first come to here, so they will be very stressful uh, about like finding accommodation and stuff like that. So. Um, as a VP international, you need to know how to help them. Like if they are, uh, um, yeah, if you need to know how to help them for the mental health and accommodation and university problem as well. Not only organizing the event. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. So we're going to move to final thoughts. So you guys have all got a minute just to summarize why everybody should vote for you. Garima, go ahead. Um, so, <clears throat> as I've mentioned before, I'm a loyalist and apart from that, um, I have been able to bring about significant change uh, with my other team members in the Department of Government. So I've been a peer mentor and a student employability panel for two consecutive years and uh, I have thoroughly participated in a lot of cultural events. I'm very passionate about dancing and I believe in the power of, you know, bringing a lot of culture and a lot of diversity. Um, I'm currently the Social Secretary of Indian Society, so I know that, you know, it is really important to bring about your culture. and I I respect the fact that even if you're a small student community of a certain country or a big student community, nobody should be, you know, overshadowed or casted. I think I would even want to try to make the students' union more stronger, uh, not just as a representative of international students, but also in order to support societies to, you know, generate events and work with other team members. Because I think I'm, I'm, I, um, everybody cannot do everything, but everyone can do something. So I feel all of us, uh, the sabbatical officers and the part-time officers, can work in conjunction to make the the entire student community benefit yep brilliant thank you very much georgie your final thoughts i have such an extensive experience for example besides working at the local hospital i have been also working for students union during the last four years also i used to be a peer mentor for the department and economics where i had to help our students to settle down into university and this was really beneficial not only for them but for me as well Last year, I just came back from my placement year in Spain, which was an amazing experience for me. I, this position, I was, I was a teaching assistant in King's College, and this, posi and this position actually helped me to find out my passion to help others in need. Also, I have been the International Student Association representative for the Bulgarian society, and I, get, I got this position through elections, for me, being your VIP International is not just an ordinary job. For me, being your VIP International will be a mission to work for your prosperity. Please vote for me. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, Jaakun, what are you thinking? Final thoughts? Well, so I have been taking part in and also organizing uh, so many events like uh, Chinese Mid Autumn Festival, uh, India Diwali, and bring cultures together. So by uh, having uh, holding these events, I can bring experience and I'm, I'm also convinced uh, I'm so also confident to take this job. Uh, I, I believe VP International is not just a job, but also the responsibility to make sure every international student in university essays uh, live a very easy and wonderful life. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to help you out whenever you uh, need in terms of financial or mental or anything. And also, I also believe VP International is not the leader of the international students, but the, who, the, but the guy who would like to make friends with you and hear from you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Asha, your final thoughts. 
Um, I think the best thing uh, about the leadership race this year is the fact that it's done on experience and who's the best for it. And as someone who has been on the uh, SU exec team before, I understand how the SU works inside and out. Having previously worked with um, representatives within the NUS, um, I understand the, the main structure of student politics. Um, and although I'm a very friendly and bubbly person, you can, I'm very approachable, I am assertive when it comes to getting stuff done and I'm not afraid to be the voice for students. Um, and yeah, being execs uh, on different societies and sports and everything, I am not afraid to put myself out there and just get all of it done, yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. Finally, Victor, wraps up with your final thoughts. Um, I want to talk about my experience like uh, for two years working for a society guild as a committee uh, and also the ISA committee uh, and I was also the uh, president of Co uh, Korean society and Chinese society as well um, and I have been two years for the peer mentor and course rep and student ambassador as well um, and I was the resident assistant and now I'm the committee assistant and I have been a volunteer for f over 500 hours and I have got um, the uh, session leader of the year last year from Reteam, and I also got the um, co exceptional contribution to student life from the Big Asset Award. And uh, I have also got the award from the Colchester uh, Youth Award as well uh, for the Volunteer of the Year, which means I'm not just talking about uh, what I'm going to do, I, I have action to do what I am going to do. So peaceful for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the, uh, the, D the VP International debate. We're going to take a short break and then we will we'll be back with VP Education at approximately 7.40. So join us then.